we're back with more Guard Me Sherlock. Let's read the story. Let's get right to it. Oh my god. Is this series you're referring to Midfall Murders? That's the crime dispensary I was in. Uh-oh. Maybe I've said too much. Funny hearing that from you. You practically held up a neon sign pouring to her to the answer. I didn't actually tell her the answer though, did I? I only gave her hints. So the TV series that Sherlock loved so much was Midfall Murders. It was the Midfall Murders, the show I was in. The woman Sherlock admires deeply, and he doesn't want me to know who it is. If my guess is right, um, who do you think less of me if I don't? I thought it was an honor. Of course not, though Sherlock should actually be the one to feel honored. It is. It is. Oh my god. Oh my god. As John says this, he shrugs his shoulders jokingly. It's night time. You're right. I guess my time is up. You seem quite relaxed, as if you feel confident that you're going to win this game. It's not like I'm certain I'm going to win or anything. It seems like everyone is on your side rather than mine. I suppose I'm on my I'm on my own in this world, with no one in my corner. At least I sort of get that impression. Those who love you aren't necessarily always about your allies, at least in my opinion. The world is a dark place, as Shakespeare said, security is morals. Chiefest enemy. I had trouble with that word. <laughs> oh my hair today. I'd say that's a little overly dramatic. Hold on, I've heard that line somewhere. The world's a dark place, as Shakespeare said, security is morals, chiefest enemy. That was one of my lines in Midfall in the Midfall Murders. Let's have your answer. Oh my god, this game. Micah's cat's name, which Sherlock thought up. The name of a woman he admires deeply. And he doesn't want me to know what it is. It must be... Oh god, it's Irene Adler, isn't it? I can't remember. What's the name of Micah's cat? Irene. Duh, it's Irene Adler. Could it be Irene? Correct. I'm the one who named her. Does that mean you named her after Irene Adler, the heroine assistant in the Midfall Murders? That's right. Irene Adler is the character I played in the show. I think he'd give the cat that name. Am I making a mistake thinking this is all about me when it, uh, it's actually not? Or could it be that if there's something you'd like to say, you should say it. Also, your suspicions are correct. <laughs> Proverb, prefer real cat is out of the bag now, so we might as well talk about it. I'm a fan of Byron Adler, the character you play. Um, thanks. Is it okay if I say that? Of course, you're the one, only one who could have played that character. Irene wouldn't have been Irene if any other actress had performed the role. That's a little much. I've been an actor for a long time, so this isn't the first time someone's praised me or said they like me. Still, I wonder why this time it makes me feel so happy. Is it because I'm the one who played the person Sherlock admires deeply? I don't know exactly what to say. That makes me really happy, Sherlock. Thank you. So then, the first time I showed up here, of course I recognized you it's possible that I've never been that surprised in all my life. Really? You didn't seem that surprised. So he was pretending not to recognize me. Come to think of it, he constantly interrupts John when he tried to talk, didn't he? But why did you throw me that hint a moment ago? I thought you didn't want me to know that you were a fan of Irene. Whether you answered correctly or not, seeing as we live together, I'm going to find out the cat's name eventually. It's only a matter of time before I would end up being shamed. 
<laughs> what do you mean, Shane? Like I just said, Sherlock. I'm really happy to hear you like Irene. Alright, let me correct myself. It's not that I feel ashamed. Perhaps more like embarrassed, so you don't need to keep bringing it up. Oh, BB Sherlock! BB Sherlock! BB Sherlock! I can't believe Sherlock actually gets embarrassed, so this is what embarrassed Sherlock looks like. to use the bed. In that case, I turn my rights to the bed and over to you, Sherlock. I'll sleep on the couch and live in no complaining about it. I suppose there's nothing I can do. There are the rules. Trying to make sure that Sherlock and his to mine, I stay perfectly still and dreadfully breathe quietly. 
figures as if I could actually expect to sleep like this. My heart is beating so hard that it's almost louder than the second hand on the clock. I mean, even if I just try to turn over, I'll probably brush against Sherlock. I wonder if he's asleep yet. He doesn't seem to be moving at all. Quietly, I peek over at Sherlock behind me. He can't sleep. <gasps> There's no use pretending to be asleep. I can tell from your breathing that you're not. Uh, are you having trouble sleeping too? I always have some trouble getting to sleep. They really? Silence falls over the room on the floor. It's kind of strange. Right now, I sort of want to talk to Sherlock more. I wonder if he knows that he knows I'm thinking this too. If he knows everything running through my head. What were you just thinking about, Suki? Huh? He's tall. Tall. Telepathic? Is that it? I was. Tell him that I've been thinking about him the whole time. Um, just that it's warm. They say that the temperature of the average human body is 36.89 degrees Celsius. Huh? Both men and women have the same internal body temperature. However, the skin temperature is measured in the environment the person would consider to be cold. The temperature of the average woman's skin is lower than the average man. This is because women have more subcutaneous fat than men, so they're better insulated. Thus, in this situation, you would absolutely be absolutely correct in thinking that I feel more. <laughs> what, is something funny? I mean, you're always like this. So the fact that I'm over here with my heart pounding away, it's ridiculous. Your heart's pounding? So you mean to say that your heart rate is to the point that it started to feel unusually fast in your mind. I hear the bed give a creak. I start, startled, I look up to see Sherlock sitting up in bed just behind me, gazing at my face. He leans closer to me, looking very handsome as he moves his face right next to mine. There's an honest, pure, soft, pure sort of look in his eyes as he fixes the city and when I see the innocent way he looks at me, it's like I'm glued to the bed, frozen solid. Look to the side. I, it's embarrassing having him look at me from so close. I feel, like my, I feel my face turn me red. I can't do it. I can't look him in the eye. As if by reflex, I look to the side, away from Sherlock. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice Sherlock breathe catch in his throat, though I'm not sure why. My heart rate just went up too. What? Just now you looked away from me, didn't you? I found it strangely meaningful, and now I can't get it out of my head. Tell me why is that? D don't ask me! So, you said that your heart is pounding, didn't you? Even though you haven't been exercising, and you aren't afraid or feeling stressed, I... <laughs> I'm feeling stressed right now. Very stressed. Sherlock, do you think I could ask you a question first? Fine with me. Um, have you ever been in a relationship, relationship with a woman? Oh, God. That was a wonderful choice you just made. Yay, we're nearly halfway through the story. So... Awesome. Um, anyways, this is where we're going to end it here. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, a good week. If you want me to make these uh, things longer, I do have extra story tickets. And I'd be willing to make them longer. Do like six or seven uh, uh, chapters instead of just five. I'd be willing totally to do that, so... Anyways, see you later. Bye!